Boom! What's going on everyone? Steve Larson from Secret MLM Hacks Radio. Today I'm going to teach you guys why you should not recruit everybody. If you're like me, you know MLM is an amazing opportunity to grow a real asset for yourself. But you also see that there's huge issues starting to emerge. Like, why haven't big MLMs let tactics change in over 30 years? Or why have they been cutting commissions smaller and smaller? Or even, how dumb is it that old MLM rules say you'll get in trouble when you use the internet to grow your team? These are some of the blaring questions we all face today. This podcast will show you how real MLMers like us are waging war on the old dying methods. And we aren't cheating by only bugging uninterested family and friends. Follow this podcast while I expose the shocking methods I'm using to build my 10,000 person downline and get people begging to join my team daily. Here's to the new tactics without all those old, rusty MLM shackles. My name is Steve Larson, and welcome to Secret MLM Hacks Radio. What's up, guys? I'm excited for this episode. I've really, actually, really been pumped about this. This one concept has actually been very challenging for me to get across to a lot of new MLMers who have the inclination to recruit anything that has a heartbeat. And I get it, and I totally get it, because we start doing this. Wait, if I just got three people, and then they each got three people, and then they all got three people. The next big question I have to answer is what island will I buy, right? And you're like, oh man, you start, and I totally get it, right? And, and, and like I was saying before, um, it's important to be, you know, uh, future pacing yourself and thinking through like, oh man, I'm gonna kill it, it's gonna be awesome, I'm gonna go all the way. That's great, okay? But what I wanna do real fast is just show you guys there's two things I wanna show in this episode. Number one, why you should not recruit just anybody. Uh, number two, I wanna show you a little bit about uh, some of the mentality that I go through and some of the things I make my people go through when they're trying to join my downline. Yes, trying to join my downline, okay? And I wanna walk through that just a little bit in this episode here. So for those of you guys who are on iTunes or on the blog or whatever, just know that I'm drawing it, but you're not gonna lose anything by, I'm just very visual, so I need to draw it as I go forward. So anyways, if you imagine, right, imagine MLM as a whole. Imagine MLM all together and uh, let's see if this red pops up on the camera well. Hey, it does, okay, check this out. So I've, I've got MLM right here. Let me move this board up just a little bit here. You guys can see my lights popping in the back. <laughs> okay, check this out though. If I got MLM right here, and this represents all of MLM. Okay, all of MLM, all MLMers are in there. All, all, all distributors, I'll say, right? Everybody who has uh, um, bought in to the, the dream and the idea, like look, I could build an actual lasting asset. Okay, if the average person is recruiting like two people every single MLM they join into, which is true, you better be recruiting some freaking rock stars, right? There's no way, there's no way that that's, that, um, uh, uh, that you're gonna go grow an actual asset if you have no other method than, than what an MLM is teaching you to go do. There's just not, okay? It's very, right, there's a few people have done it, so don't get butthurt over, but I want you to understand like, look, I. It's way easier when you get very focused on who you actually want. So if this this represents, right, this circle right here represents all MLM, understand that there are multiple kinds of people inside of any MLM, right? As, as I look at the, the industry as a whole, what I don't want, what I don't want, right? And let's say, oh, right over here, and I'm gonna draw red ocean and blue ocean, okay, just for this example here, okay? But if I want people to come right, and join my, my downline, right, this little blue part right here, right, this spot right over here, this little tiny spot over on the side. If I want them to come join me right here, the thing that, if I'm gonna actually, I'll put it inside of there, right, because I'm not leaving MLM, but I'm telling a lot of people in it, like, better and easier ways to recruit, right, just the purpose of the show here, right, but let's say that you're gonna come right over here, what I'm not doing is I'm actually not going and telling people who are not already in MLM to join my downline. I'm not the I'm not telling people, hey, uh, oh, you're over here, and you're still doing your nine to five, and you haven't left it, and you've never tried anything else, and you hate it, and you're a complainer, but you've never tried or done anything else in your life ever. Hey, why don't you come over here and join this thing called MLM? I'm not doing that, right? Or the person who's over there and he's saying like, um, uh, look, I've started a small biz, right? I started a small biz. I'm like, go abandon your small biz or on the back of it. Come on in and join this thing called MLM. That's actually, I'm not trying to do any of those things, okay? I want you to understand like strategically what I'm doing and why my team kills it. Okay, I looked at this stat a long time ago, so I know it's super, super old. But guys, there's like, there's like tens and tens and tens and tens and maybe a hundred million people in America alone that are like in MLM, right? I don't know the exact number. 
but like forever ago, right? I went and I looked at the stat and it was like, there's 10 million people in America alone actively inside of MLM. And I was like, actively inside of MLM, 10 million out of America. All right, I can see that. Okay, that's a lot of people who are already inside of it. Now my question to you is, do you think all of them are happy? No, right? They are not, okay? They're not. Do you think all of them are being successful? No, just as in any opportunity ever. If you're gonna go try and do anything in your life ever, a percentage are gonna do it and a percentage aren't, right? That's just how, that, that, that's any, any opportunity, right? How bad does somebody want it, right? And that's, that's a huge indicator if they actually hit it. So what I'm trying to do, right? What, the reason I recruit so much is that I am not reaching out of those already in existing, uh, those who are not already in MLM. I'm reaching to those who are already in MLM, right? Let's say that somebody's in a downline, okay? And they got two, and they got two, and they got two. And let's say we got this big old tree right here, right? Just big, big, massive genealogy inside of MLM, right? And let's say that represents everybody inside MLM. What I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm grabbing. I'm like, oh, did you know? Like, I'm talking to people inside downlines, existing huge trees, right? Massive, ma we're talking, right? Hundreds of thousands of people inside of an MLM, right? Just one, right? Huge, 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 huge things, right? There are people inside there, right? Let's say that this guy right here, oh man, he just freaking hates that he's doing it. He knows that MLM is a good opportunity, but he hates what he's doing. And he hates the fact that he can't get more people inside uh, of his opportunity. He's, he's seeing it sail without him in it. Right? He's seeing the ship move and he's not on board, although he's trying to get on board, but he can't seem to get help. That's who I sell. Okay? I sell the people inside of existing MLM, so I don't have to deal with stupid questions like, is it a pyramid scheme? Right? And, and right? How many guys are tired of that question? Right? Gosh, so dumb. Right? I sell to those people, and I get those people coming on out, right? and I, I talk to those individuals. So you have to understand, like, I don't recruit anything that has a heartbeat. I don't let anybody in just because they want to. Isn't that funny? That's true, right? I actually send people through like an application process, a real application, which I read, and I right off the bat kill at least half the applications. That's true, okay? This year alone, uh, uh, this year alone, uh, um, or anyway, up to like right now, we're about to cross 700 people asking to join my downline, and I kill about half the applications right off the bat. And people are like, that's stupid. Why would you ever do that? That's crazy. Steven, those are people you could go get a commission on. Like, yeah, 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 you understand? Like, junk in, junk out. Okay, and I'm not, again, I'm not talking about the value of an individual or a value of life, but I'm talking about like, this is a business. I am not running it as a hobby. It is a business, okay? And they're going through an interview. If they want the assets that I have for them, if they want the pre-built things that I'm gonna give them, because I have them, if they want all those things, they want all my connections, they want my Rolodex, they want the, guys, then I'm gonna make it hard. Why should I let you in? Okay, why should I let you in? And that's what I, I switched the psychology. So the lesson for this entire episode, we're gonna cut over to one other thing here real quick. Don't recruit everyone, okay? Just because they have the money, right? Just because they are able, doesn't mean they're willing to actually run. Just because they're able and may have the money, doesn't mean that they are willing to go do what it takes and actually talk to people, okay? The way that you bring people into your downline, your MLM, is a massive determiner, right? It determines in a huge way how successful they'll be after they join you. So if I go in and anyone can join willy-nilly, if anybody can go join and get inside any country they want willy-nilly, passport or not, okay? Massive, massive, massive issues would start like that, okay? Treat yourself like a country, man. I'm an island, baby. You can't get on my island unless you have the right credentials, right? Unless you, and, and like, I'm not saying you have to be a killer already. Like, I take a lot of people who are brand new, but I'm, what I'm looking for is like beliefs and mentalities and how their willingness to run forward and do I need, right? I'm, this is gonna sound rude, okay? But I got a quote on my wall that says, is this friend a growth friend or a maintenance friend, okay? And what I do, it's on my wall, it's right over there, okay? Is this, for, is this person a growth friend or a maintenance friend? And that's not to say I don't ever take on any maintenance friends, but in an MLM where it's a business and not a hobby, I do not take on a maintenance recruit. I only take on growth recruits, okay? I only take on growth uh, distributors. That's it, and that's how I do it. And you have to understand that not everyone inside MLM is created equal. 
They're not. I'm not saying their individual worth. I'm saying their will, like their goals. Not everyone has the same goals. Not everyone has the same time. Not everyone has the same backgrounds or skill sets. Or maybe they're not coming in and they don't have a list. That's okay. It's not. That's not to say I don't bring them in. That's not to say they can't make it. Okay. But I actually flip the table on the script, and I do exactly the opposite of what my MLM tells me to do. Go talk to everybody. No. <laughs> go go do phone meetings. Absolutely not. All right. I haven't done one of those in in like five years. Okay. <laughs> the last time I did it was when I was, uh, it was my first MLM and I was like, I'm never doing this again. I'm going to find another way to do this. And I did. Okay. And, uh, so anyways, what I'm trying to help you guys understand is like in MLM itself, right? Not everyone is, is, has the same, um, ambition or audacity. Not everyone has the same, Hey, I'm ready to grow. Right. And if the, if, 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 if I let people in really, really easily, they leave really easily. If I let people in and there's no expectation, there's no expectation after they come in. If I let, right. And that's, so I set precedence guys with the way I let them in. Okay, their attitudes about what they go do and sell has everything to do with the way I let them in. And so I don't let them in easy. I don't, okay, I, I at all. In fact, I've had people complain about it. Like, dude, I've been just trying to freaking join you. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I'm trying to see if you're a good fit for me. And they'd be like, what are you talking about? Right, I've had people get mad about it, but like, look, right? So I have a, um, uh, I have a recruiting funnel and it automates the whole process. They even sign an NDA. Okay, no joke, because I'm about to give them a whole bunch of stuff that is frankly industry secrets. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff that's made my stuff work really, really well. They sign an NDA on the way in. You guys can actually check it out if you want to. We just barely added it in. Again, it's not a pitch. I'm not pitching here. But you guys go to joinmydownline.com. Joinmydownline.com. Funny enough, largest oversight in all of the MLM industry. Why on earth was that MLM available? Or sorry, why on earth was that domain available? I have no idea. Joinmydownline.com was available. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so. Uh, what, did, what we did though is we just recently added in an NDA because we were looking for ways to make it even more intense isn't the word, but we want serious apps, right? We want a serious app applicant. I, I'm not pitching you, okay? I just want you to know, like, take the same thing and put it in your downline, okay? So what we're gonna do real quick is I'm gonna cut over here. We're gonna cut over to uh, a question somebody had about this. They're like, okay, right? And this is some stuff I teach inside of uh, Secret MLM Hacks. And um, I've got the... Uh, I got this recruiting funnel, right? So they go through a series of steps, right? Where they're gonna apply and then they're gonna actually fill out, uh, sign the NDA and they're gonna fill out the actual application on this step. And then they're gonna go in and, and watch like a presentation from our team right here. Then they're gonna go download all the assets they need to start blowing it up, join our community, join on all this stuff, get a whole bunch of cool onboarding stuff, meet us, right? It's not, I don't take the human out of the machine. I think that's a wrong move. I, I, don't, I don't ever do that. Okay, but that, that's what I have. And then they get put on this cool, really awesome drip sequence where it's emailing them out some really cool stuff, some free trainings, which you guys will see if you choose to do that, which is totally cool, either or. And uh, uh, anyway, it's really awesome. So the question though that people ask a lot of times is like, Steven, that's really cool that you build that. How do you get traffic to that? And so that's what this episode is dedicated about and dedicated to. I just needed to give you guys that backstory, otherwise it wouldn't really make sense. <laughs> so so I only target it, right, to just these people right in there, bloop, 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 who are like, you know what, I'm in it, I love it, MLM's cool, and I'm like, yeah, it is cool, I actually really, really like it. And I see why you're hurting though, okay? If you got, if you want, if you want some tools, got them. You want some stuff, sweet, been doing it for a bit now, right? And it's been really, really fun to go in and, and, and build this out and make it, make it awesome, so. Um, uh, one of the questions though that people will ask me is, Steven, cool, that's who you're targeting. That's the kind of funnel and the automation you push them through. How do you get those people to see this page, right? And that is the major question uh, that you guys are about to go, go see. So we went and we chopped out a really cool Q&A um, uh, session here real quick. It's not that long, um, but uh, I'm gonna answer more about that question. How do I get people to see the recruiting funnel? And you guys are gonna see that. And uh, this was done a little while ago and we've gone in and we've been hunting and farming out really cool lessons that uh, that I've gone through with my with my crew already. But uh, anyway, so this is, this is from a Q&A session that I was doing with the Secret MLM Hacks group. And uh, anyways, we'll cut over there now and just get more serious about it. Like when you watch it, I'm, I'm not here to like rock your boat but I'm here to help you guys make your boat float better, okay? And so start thinking through like, man, as I'm watching this, I, I want you to be answering the question like, who do I want, okay? Who, do, who would be my dream recruit, right? What are they like? What are they not like? I'm not saying who could you let in, okay? That, that's the biggest mistake people make in the MLM game. Oh, I could get this person. What if I could get this person? What if, what if right? Who could I get? Stupid question, okay? Don't ever try and answer that, okay? It's who should I get, right? Who should I go grab? 
who would be a key player. And if it takes a little bit longer to recruit them, or if you have slower growth at the beginning than all these other people that might be blowing it up, that's okay. You are building a ramp to launch off of, right? And it, it will explode. You're gonna hit this moment where it's just like, all right, it's like the book uh, Good to Great talks about, right? Where it's kind of slow growth for a little while and then suddenly like, boom, starts the snowball, right? That point right there, that's what you're moving towards when you start answering who should I recruit rather than who could I recruit. So keep that in mind as we as we move forward here. It's kind of a, f anyway, it's kind of a, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna cut over there and have that question in mind. I'll get a piece of paper out and write it down. So let's cut over there. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are liking these episodes, please, rate it on, on iTunes. Uh, every once in a while I get idiots that are like, well, this can't work. And they go in and they'll give me like a one star or something. And I'm like, this is amazing content and no one's teaching it. So if you are enjoying this, please, please, please. I actually, uh, I'm not begging, but I'm willing to <laughs> go over to iTunes and give me a review, honest review. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. And, uh, uh, cause I'm going to keep pumping out this kind of stuff and these strategies, use them wherever you want to. Don't feel pressure from me on anything. Uh, just, uh, uh that's why I'm doing it. It's to change the industry. All right, guys, see you later. Let's cut over there uh, to the next part. All righty. Which kind of goes into John. John, you're asking this question as well, John Tan. You're asking, he said, hey, Steve, I don't quite understand how people get to know your recruiting page. Is is through which funnel? Yeah, so I, I actually, in my web class, in, in this, right? Um, I'm going to peel back the curtain right here, right? So I'm just going to let you know exactly what's happening, right? Right? This web class, all of this, paid prospecting, right? It is. I don't care if you join my downline or not. That's okay. I'm trying to teach you to do the same inside yours, right? Some of you will. That's great. That's fine. That's totally fine. And if you don't want to, that's fine too, right? I don't ever, do I ever tell you what I'm in? No. And some of some people, some of you guys like, and you've reached out and you're like, I like to be more aggressive. That's fine too. I know that each MLM though does have its own rules. Just check what they are. I don't want to get you guys in trouble. Okay. Um, mine is fine if I name drop it. But I don't ever want anybody to feel like there's pressure going into it. I right, that's part of my rule. They come to me. Number one, they they come to me. I do not I do not force anybody. And what's funny is like the man, I look at my downline now from that strategy, and it's like, poof, holy crap, we just passed the the two hundred and twenty third person applying to join my personal downline, not including all the people in my downline also using the same stuff. It's like poof, it's huge, right? It's awesome. And like the the quality of individuals is really high. So anyway. Um, so I'm trying to teach you to do the same, not pressure you to get in. Does that make sense? So, uh, so John, I, I don't actually tell anybody what it is. And then I just say, Hey, when someone reaches out, right. Cause they reach out through several modalities. I say, Hey, when you want to just go over to blank at blank.com and go ahead and apply and would love to have you. And, um, uh, totally up to you. Uh, if you want to, there's no pressure at all. And then I, I give them my offer, right? Just like I teach you guys to do the other stuff. I make the act of joining my downline an offer. Right, and it goes, and you guys see partly what that is inside of the funnel training inside our, our, our course here, right? Inside of, you know, those funnel builds that are pretty long, <laughs> pretty big. Um, uh, so, so anyway, um, that, that's how. I honestly let them come to me. That's probably one of the only manual pieces. I do subtle drops in my podcast. I do subtle drops in other areas as well. And so when people want to, they can come find me and, and follow me and stuff like that. And, uh, and they do, there's a hooks in there and stuff like that, but I, it's very, very on the back burner. Um, I'll do it in some of my free content, but man, I don't do it at all. in like really in, in much of my paid content and you might look at it differently and be like, Hey, I want to be able to drop in it. That's, that's totally fine. You can drop that in. It, it, it's just my, it's my way of doing it where what I'm delivering is so valuable that they see, okay, I'm trying to. Let me, let me, don't get offended by this, Kay. Let me peel back the curtain again and let me, let me understand what's going on here, right? I'm trying to help you understand what my downline does, right? And all the other things that they get so that eventually there's this insatiable desire. You're like, I have got to get in freaking Steve Larson's downline. What? Holy smokes, right? How is it? How's he doing? Right? Does that make sense? That's what I'm doing. I, I'm trying to teach you the same in your downline, your specific, go do it in yours. I'm, I'm not pulling you into mine, okay? Go do it in yours. Make your offer, the act of joining your downline so attractive and sexy. You've solved so many follow-up problems that you create when you recruit them, right? That it removes pretty much all their fears, removes basically all the major issues that they have. Remo removes, they don't have stresses anymore when, they are, when they're in your downline anymore. They don't have, right? Instead, they're like, crap, I got a system for my leads. Sweet, I got a system for this. 
oh my gosh, that's amazing. I have this whole other revenue stream coming in that I get paid to prospect on. Holy smokes, right? I got, look at this. I'm becoming an industry leader in these areas and people are coming up. What the heck? Like, does that make sense? I hope that that is gluing it all together and you guys are seeing like, that's the master plan. And I had that idea five years ago on our couch in uh, Rexburg, Idaho. And uh, I realized, good grief, no one's doing that. And um, there's people that have come close with other areas, but nobody really teaches marketing. I don't mean Facebook ads. That's a way to market, but it's not, that's not marketing. No one's teaching funnels. No one's teaching become an attractive character. No one's teaching go publish a lot. No one's, like the freaking crux of how we make every other product go nuts on the internet. No one's teaching that stuff. And that's when I was like, oh my gosh. And that's, that's how it happened. And uh, launched the first version of it a year and a half ago and saw all the flaws. And uh, the market told me what to change, which was a lot. And so uh, after a lot of study and coming back in, a lot of getting people to uh, write, a lot of understanding right, what, what actually gets a person. And what was funny is that in parallel, I was the main coach for Two Comic Club Coaching for Russell's coaching program. I was the, the only coach for 675 people. And so I got to see tons of offers. Where do people suck it up on? Where are the issues that people have when they get started? How, where are the, okay, it's, yeah, go make sweet offers. Doesn't matter on the industry. This is persuasion 101. You got to have a sweet sales message. You need to develop into an attractive character. You got to put these pieces together. But like, so it was interesting because I got to grab a lot of parallel things from these different areas as people got started and, and, and toss it all in. Now you might look at that and you might say, man, I can't compete with that. I'm not asking you to, okay? This is another thing that people reach out to me about. I'm gonna compete with you, Steven, if I create an MLM-based podcast. No, you're not, okay? I make an MLM-based podcast for MLMers who also like funnels, not the general MLMist. You might go create an MLM podcast that has to do with people who like MLM, or maybe you call something different, network marketing, or direct selling, I don't care, right? Uh, don't make a knockoff of my name. <laughs> I hate that so bad. Uh, but anyway, so, um, <laughs> be your own brand, but it, there's room for you too, though. Lots of room. You might be, you're like, you know what? I'm going to sell MLMers who also like workout. I like, uh, I'm going to go sell MLMers who also like investing. I'm going to go sell. Does that make sense? I don't just sell to the general MLMist. In fact, I don't want them in here, right? I don't. Is this a little bit more advanced? It's quite a bit more advanced, right? Than what the general MLM course teaches. Far more, right? I know it is. It's a little bit overwhelming. It's supposed to be. I get it right? But it's because who I'm trying to attract to this, you guys are not normal individuals. Okay. You guys remember when you were normal, remember when you were a normal person, you weren't an entrepreneur. Remember how boring that was? Everything was probably black and white. Everything's a grayed out. There's probably elevator music constantly playing in the background. You're like, <laughs> everything's sad. You might be cried. Right. And then you're like, realize entrepreneurship. Oh, Atlanta. Like Steven, you got huge eyeballs. You're like, oh man, entrepreneur, this is crazy. And then you learned MLM. What? This is incredible. And then you learned what? Oh my gosh, this funnel game. You're like, oh, what? And you bright eyed, bushy tail. This is me. Like, I'm not going for the person who's brand spanking new at anything. I'm go you guys are not normal people. You're not normal individuals. You understand it. You get it. You see the vision. Find who it is that you want in your community. Find who it is and get picky on who you want in your downline. Real picky. Okay. You're going to be spending time with these people. Okay. Lots of it. Get picky. Don't recruit them just because you could. And that was my first mistake with my first MLM that sucked so bad, right? Go in and then figure out what bait gets that kind of person, right? They should be slightly hard to get a hold of. They should be slightly hard to convince to come in to your group. They should be person, people are already in motion, already, already successful, right? Not somebody who's never had success before. That is a rough, rough customer. It's a rough, not, customers are not all created equal. They're not at all. <laughs> I don't know if I can put exclamation. If I was on Instagram, I'd put like a whole bunch of Insta like exclamations on that. <laughs> anyway, so I'm trying to help you guys understand that. That that's like that's like the big secret. That's like what I've been doing. So I, I went through and guys, it took me a couple of years to really to nail it down. But I didn't stop selling stuff in that time period. I figured out from selling stuff and the reactions of the market what they wanted. I found a way to deliver it uniquely and bring them to me. And that's what I'm trying to help you guys understand and teach and learn. I, I hope it has been. I think it has been. Those of you guys are actually doing it, you're seeing it happen. And uh, some of you guys, uh, I think it was like Hannah, she dropped in a message like last week and she's like, oh my gosh, I published the first few episodes. People are reaching out. Oh, <laughs> like, yes, yes, that's exactly it. And part of the struggle that us as individuals have is like, we don't 
give ourselves enough leeway to suck at first. <laughs> you know, I sucked so bad, man. Oh, go read the post, the post that's on my Facebook right now, my personal wall. Go read that. Look how shy I was. Look how freaked out I was. I think I had, a, like, like I said, like a clinical fear of adults. I mean, I just... Uh, for years, the better part of my life, even into my 20s, guys, and, and I, when I was self-aware about it, I started crafting experiences in my life that would change the story that was going on in my head. And because that changed the story that was going on in my head, it changed my belief and what I did physically. Does that make sense? It's one of the reasons I went to the Army. It's one of the reasons why I did MLM the first time. It's one of the reasons I did door-to-door -door sales because it freaked me out. That's why I did it. I wanted to learn sales in the hardest environments. I wanted to learn it. Right? It was an active decision of mine. Telemarketing, freaking hated it. I did it because of that. Okay, and, and when I got good at that and gave myself license to suck, right? Suddenly it was like, oh man, I can do this, right? You can all do it as well. I'm trying to develop you into attractive characters and leaders in your own thing. I'm trying to develop you into... Um, uh, um, I'm trying to develop you into these individuals who are, um, right, right, right. When, when somebody says, wait, there's this new industry of funnels plus MLM. Well, let me go look that up. If you Google MLM funnels, right? Like my stuff's there, right? If you Google, it's on purpose, right? If you Google, uh, right, uh, um, funnels, if you Google click funnels, right, right? I'm ranking for that crap, guys, for the specific reason I'm trying to be, right? But I had to be willing to develop. I had to be willing to suck. I had to be willing, and I had to be willing to publish while I suck. I had to be willing to, and that's okay, okay? And that's what I was trying to say before. You are more believable. You are more followable if you start now. You go listen to my first few episodes. I know I've said this to you before. If you listen to my first few episodes that I ever did, is like, um, it's terrible. <laughs> like it was terrible. Um, the, I mean, the the content was good. The lessons are good. Man, the delivery was, sucked so bad. I was like, um, uh, um, um, uh, er. Like, I wasn't good at speaking. I was not good at delivering it. I had no inflections in my voice. So I was very monotone like this, right? But now I go to this. I say, are you excited to be here? This is amazing. Right, right at the end of my all of my sentences, I go up like this because it's a preframe and it's a, actually a trial close every time I go like that, right? Every time, like I. There's inflections. Like, there's a practice of the delivery, right? There's no notes. How do you do that, right? When you are forced to create amazing stuff, it, it does brilliant things for your life, guys. Boom, was that awesome? Hey, please remember to rate and subscribe on iTunes. That means a lot to me. Hey, the most frustrating part for me at the beginning of all of this was not knowing who I could ask questions to when I had them. If you have a question that could benefit everybody, and you want it answered live on the show, this show, visit secretmlmhacksradio.com to submit your question straight from your browser. Again, that's secretmlmhacksradio.com.